When you create a pivot chart in Excel, it starts out with the same number formatting as the pivot table. In this video, you'll see how to change the number format in both the pivot table and chart, or just in the pivot chart. This is Deborah Dalglish from Contextures.com. To create a pivot chart, select a cell in the pivot table, then on the ribbon, click Insert, and choose a recommended chart or go to one of your preferred types. I'll choose 2D column, and here we can see that the numbers have the same format as the numbers in the pivot table. On this sheet, I want to change the number formatting for both the pivot table and the pivot chart. To do that, I'll right click one of the numbers in the pivot table, click Value Field Settings, and click Number Format. In here, I'm going to choose the number format, and I'll make it zero decimal places and show the thousand separator. And click OK. Click OK. And the number format changes in both the pivot table and the same change in the chart. For this pivot chart, I'd like to change the format of numbers here without affecting the pivot table. To do that, I'll right click on one of these axis numbers, click Format Axis, and that opens up the pane. I will drag that onto the worksheet so we can see it a bit better. We're on the Axis Options tab, and I'm going right down to the bottom where there's the Number option. In here, we can see the category right now is General Format. I'm going to change these numbers so they are in thousands, 5K or 4K. To do that, I'll select a Custom category and see what's in our list right now. It's just this. So I'm going to have to enter a format code down here. I'm going to type a number sign, comma, and then in double quotes, a capital K. And for the negative numbers, I'm going to do a semicolon and then a minus sign in the same format. Click Add to put this into the Type dropdown. I will close the Format pane, and we can see that the chart numbers have been formatted, but the pivot table was not affected by the change. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.